Hello and welcome. So what you can see here is the setup for a talk I gave recently at a conference which was of course held over Zoom. So as you can see my slides were on the left hand side so I could mark stuff and go through the slides and on the right hand side I had a whiteboard for other notes. Now in the end I didn't get so many questions about the interesting research I did and presented but I got a lot of questions how I could share slides and whiteboard together because it was nice that I was able to explain a lot of things in written form. And that made me wonder, after more than one year of digital conferences and distance learning, people are still not satisfied with their own screen sharing and apparently don't know the infinite power of OBS. And that's the reason I want to help here, because I still see two extreme situations for such a talk with screen sharing. On the one hand, the whole screen is shared. So first one sees all emails or notifications and of course unnecessary stuff that sidetracks the audience. On the other hand, just sharing the PDF viewer, the speaker then loses all the tools for highlighting stuff or to write comments. And there OBS comes in and helps with all these problems. You only share things you want, but only the things that are needed for the talk. Therefore, in this video, I want to explain how you can use OBS for your daily teaching and for scientific talks like this one. And I can already tell you, it's not hard at all. Okay, so now not so surprising, the first thing you need to do is to download OBS and to install it. Here at obsproject.com you find all the releases and can download it immediately. Then, after downloading it, installing it and open OBS, you see this nice window of OBS and the nice black screen in it. Usually you would see all your audio sources here, but remember we only want to do screen sharing, therefore you can ignore this field immediately. For us only the field left to it with sources will be important because here we can add everything we want. Now when you click on plus here you see a lot of things but for us it will be sufficient to use window capture. Or if you have more screens you can also use screen capture. Ok let's do it together, let's add a window capture. So we click and then we can give a name to it. We can keep it simple and just call it presentation. Then we click ok and we get a whole list of windows to choose from. We want to choose the PDF viewer, which is in my case Xernal, with slides. And there you see, this is my presentation. And there you see, we can change a lot. Important most of the times is that we capture the cursor and in my case I would crop the top part of the viewer. Then if I'm finished with the cropping part here, I click OK and I see my window is in the black screen here. So what we have here is that our preview is not empty anymore and we can move the window around. Hence you can put it where you want and if needed you can also scale it here. Of course you could make it as small as you want but maybe here it would be useful to have it on the whole left hand side. Ok then it might not be so surprising for you that we can also add a second window here. So we choose now my notes, so let's call it notes we edit and then we choose external with notes. Of course also this one we can move and scale as we want but maybe most importantly we now have two sources here. And with these arrows here you can change the order of the two windows which is important if you have some overlap like here. Ok now let's move this window here around, maybe also scale it a little bit and then we have something like before, we have a presentation on the left and some notes on the right hand side. Also important to know here is that in the sources we find these locks which lock the windows which means you can't move them now accidentally. Ok with this you have all the things you need. If you want to change a window of course you can just delete it and add it again or you right click on it and then you go to transform, edit transform for example the cropping part here we can change again. This is good to know if you just want to do some small adjustments. Let's do this for the notes such that they look a little bit nicer. So you see this is not a problem, we can easily do that with all the details we need. 
Also, if you want to have an even nicer picture, you can add an image here as an overlay, which means you can cover all the parts you don't want to show. Okay, so that's OBS as we need it. Of course, OBS can do so much more stuff, but we don't need these features if we just want to do a screen share. Speaking of which, if you use Zoom for example, you don't want to share the OBS window because no one wants to see the bottom part here. However, of course, OBS has a feature for this as well. You can just click here on Scene, right click on it, and then you find the Windowed Projector. And exactly this window is the one you want to share. For example, if you use Zoom with screen sharing. But then of course, the window should be large enough such that the audience can read everything. Okay, that is all. For you as a speaker, nothing changes. You use the slides or your notes as always. Only the screen share is much nicer for everyone now. Therefore, please try it out and let me know in the comments how it works and if you have any problems with it. Please also ask questions if you have any. With this, I hope that I could help you and I wish you a nice day. Bye.